Yo, if you drop a like and subscribe in the next five seconds, something good is going to happen to you tomorrow, I promise. All right, what is going on? What's happening? How's everybody doing today? My name is Chuck, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're going to be using a channel favorite gun, or a gun that I actually even really like using a lot myself, and that is indeed going to be the M4A1. The M4A1 is probably my most used gun in all of Modern Warfare. Well, actually, statistically, it is my most used gun in Modern Warfare, and it's also probably my most used gun here in Warzone. It's just so unbelievably good, and it even stacks up incredibly well against a lot of the meta guns right now which happen to be you know your max 10 your ffar your cr56 a max like when you're trying to go sniping you get your car 98k like this falls perfectly in line with a lot of the ars that are going to be used right now and uh, i think you guys are definitely really going to enjoy this class setup because this is a very aggressive rushing one that's going to allow you guys to really get up in people's faces and be able to take them out very very efficiently before we get any farther into today's video if you guys can do me a favor and drop a like on this thing and subscribe with all notifications turned on we're on that road to 800,000 subscribers so it'd be awesome if you guys could do me a favor and join the squad i really would appreciate that also comment down in the comment section below what is your go-to meta weapon right now okay so jumping into this here of course we have our m4a1 and then we have our backup as our mac 10 secondary thank god they actually did that patch and they kind of buffed the agency silencer on this thing and you know all the other cold war guns thank god they actually fixed a whole bunch of stuff in there is really really appreciative of that and then we have the perks of uh, double time overkill and amped and then we have the lethal of the thermite which i swap out to like a semtex depending on how i'm feeling and then i have the tactical as my heartbeat sensor which is fantastic but now let's actually get up here into the m4a1 and uh, we're gonna be jumping into this thing this is gonna be the uh, atlanta face camo unfortunately you can't really buy that right now but if you happen to have it then you guys can definitely have i mean then you can throw it on your warzone weapons but it's kind of interesting here at least and i think is that i can't really use any of the new cdl camos on my on my modern warfare guns unless i go into modern warfare create a weapon variant or something like that save it and then use it in warzone it's kind of a little bit buggy but let's actually jump in here to our muzzle category and and what we're going to be using is we're going to go down to the very bottom and we're going to throw on the monolithic suppressor for that sound suppression, that damage range. The mono is going to be the best one to ever use, you know, that you can ever use in this game. It doesn't matter if it's modern warfare multiplayer or if it's Warzone. The mono suppressor is just the best on every single gun. There's no reason for you guys to use anything else, in my opinion. I mean, the lightweight suppressor is just going to decrease your damage range. So we're really not trying to do that. And if you happen to have, you know, the tactical suppressor unlocked, but not the mono, then you can use the tactical and feel more or less safe with it because you're not going to be losing damage range but obviously the mono is going to be the best because this actually does increase your damage range as well as help you with that sound suppression any of those cons down there i really don't pay attention to them whatsoever this is like the one attachment where i just completely disregard anything you know that is a con just because it's like okay sound suppression damage range best suppressor you can possibly use on your modern warfare guns now for the barrel section uh there's only basically about two barrels that are going to be any bit viable here to use and it, it doesn't even matter what you're playing basically we have the options of the stock m16 grenade an ear barrel or the corvus custom marksman but actually within the gameplay i was using the corvus custom marksman because i was really trying to rush around and be super aggressive with this gun and if i was going to go for a very more so like long range m4a1 build i'd use the stock m16 grenade ear barrel but i wanted to have a little bit more mobility and i still felt that it was hitting incredibly hard using the corvus custom marksman so we had damage range bullet velocity and recoil control it's just we don't have it exactly as much as we would the stock m16 grenade ear barrel but that's entirely okay i mean you could definitely swap this out for the stock m16 barrel or you can use the corvus custom marksman but i was using the corvus and i thought it was fantastic and you guys should definitely go to give this a shot if you haven't already this is going to be really solid for you and uh, i personally really like it for my under barrel i'm actually going to keep this very very simple we're going to be using the commando foregrip for that recoil stabilization and then aiming stability there's no real reason for us to go out and get kind of crazy with it and use something else like maybe like a merc foregrip or go down to use like a ranger foregrip or an operator there's really isn't any sort of benefit in that the m4 really doesn't have too too much recoil to begin with it has you know a tad bit but we've kind of you know lowered that here with using the corvus barrel and then of course we're adding on the commando which is going to make this you know the perfect balance of actually having range and recoil control but also still having some mobility which is what we really want because this is supposed to be a more mobile aggressive rushing m4 class so that's what we're gonna be going with here on the on this attachment is the commando foregrip if you guys have been watching my channel for a while i feel like i don't really have to explain this too too much but on the ammunition side of things we just go for the 60 round mag i'm a 60 round magazine kind of guy you know what i'm saying like i always go for the 60 it just it just genuinely doesn't matter some people have tried to tell me down in the comment section in previous videos that the nine millimeter is good on the m4 and the or the socom is good and i just tell everybody that they're tweaking they're bugging like i mean i whatever you're smoking it's got to be great because i i mean i must need some of that if you guys are thinking this is that good i mean it's really not good at all uh just 
only use like a 50 or a 60 round mag um i'm just only gonna use a 60 just because that's how i think it's gonna be the most beneficial for me i like having 60 rounds in my magazine so i'm gonna use the 60. and for my last and final attachment uh what i'm gonna be using here is we're gonna use the corp combat hollow sight for that precision uh just gonna give us a little bit more precision last time we kind of messed with something through on like a laser sight but i wanted to kind of give us a little bit more you know viewability of our targets give us just a tad bit more and so this actually does help out i like being able to actually have more you know more of a clear view of our targets it really doesn't matter what type of uh like you know reticle you happen to have on this i've ran a few of them i personally don't even have blue dot and i still run the corp combat hollow just because i actually like the way it looks i i, I like the way it feels in game here so that's gonna be that i'm like i'm saying like i'm gonna go into my reticle here i mean I, you can run the base reticle you can run the down you know the downward curve it really does not matter you can run basically any single one of these until you happen to get the blue dot um you're still gonna have fantastic success with it but anyways this is gonna be my m4a win build here for warzone super aggressive you guys can get with this you can rush around quite a lot um i'm very excited for you guys to see the gameplay i was rushing around you know i was getting up at people's faces and i was having a lot of fun so enjoy the gameplay Who's camping? Wait, are they both down? But I oh no, I need to get over there. Oh wait, no, he's not down. Ah, oh, come on, he got rezzed. Oh, that sucks. Man, these kids need to quit messing with me. I don't got any streaks to take y'all out. Oh, I disabled their vehicle. Yeah, have fun, boys. Have fun. Yeah, I got you both, y'all. Let's go. Oh, say it ain't so. Please tell me he's not going to camp in there. Yo, know, these kids really not about to push this. I mean, y'all got to get in. You you have to get in zone, bro. Go on. Yo, can I hit my shots? Probably not. I was going to say, I'm so bad. <laughs> Yo, man, like... I was missing so many shots. They changed the sound of the M4, like no cap, like it sounds different. Hello, children. Where y'all at? Are these kids underground or something? Like, what's going on here? I'm lost. I'm trying to get a bounty and like... Oh, these kids really must be underground. Oh! 
Oh my god, I down one. Nope, see you later. But that was definitely not my bounty though. That's kind of crazy. You're down, Chief. Come oh, on, where teammate at? Oh, no, you can't get in there. No! Wait. Enemy UAV over no, come on. Ah, oh, that was so bad. I didn't realize I had goo. You got lucky this time. We're sending you back to the front. Oh god. This predicament I'm in is not what I wanted to be in. That's it. Back at it. 